from Taj Mahal and Medics. I've got a Mercedes C-Class here on a 2000 template. I'm just going to show you how to fix the headlight beam image on this. Uh, well, you won't get it 100% if you're doing it on your own uh, because you're going to need some. You're going to need a device like this. Plus, you've got to adjust it from around to that area there. But to get if the built bulb is fitted in correctly, you'd know that straight away. As you can see there, that beam image is very good. This here, there's no image. So if I bring the lights, if you look around there, so that image is not good at all. So if you look on this one, that image is 100%. So what I'm gonna do, sorry, I just don't know what I've done there. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the problem for this car so first of all i'm going to turn the car off lights off and then we'll get to the headlight now i am on my own so please forgive me if i do make mistakes but if you look right there that's the bulb cover right there on the back for the main dip bulb and that's for the full beam okay the full beam was incorrect as well but i've fixed that already but if i take the bulb cover out so you won't be able to see now I can already see the bulb is fitted in the bulb is fitted in wrong so what I'm going to do I'm going to take the bulb out reset the bulb and then put it back together so I'm just going to unplug it first right put the plug to the side for a minute and then go in there again, show you exactly what I mean. Right, okay. So what you've got to do is push on the spring. And then to the bottom of it. So that's it. Comes out. And then if I take the bulb out. Now that's where the pin locator for the bulb should be sitting. So the top bit here should be sitting at the bottom there. So if I reset the bulb again. And then bring the spring back forward. In and up. That's it. Done. I'm going to plug it back in so it is a bit of an awkward place there but you can already see the bulb is sitting in nicely so what we're going to do we're going to check right so if i start the car up switch the lights on now you can already see that one there pretty good this here is slightly still dimmer so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I think I might have to replace the bulb on this so it's not doing anything even when I'm touching it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a new bulb put that in and then see how we get on right okay what I've done is I've put a brand new bulb in there it is a H7 bulb one the bulb was fitted incorrectly hence that's why I think it weakened the bulb up and um, it was touching the side of the lens on the inside here so that's the reason the bulb image was out but when I put the new one in as you can see now that is pretty spot on if you look around here that is pretty spot on as well but if you look onto the wall you can see right there as well so you've got your beam image back up again now if you know if you're driving at night time you can't see anything first thing first you need to do is check if the headlight bulbs are fitted in correct fitted in fitted in correctly if they aren't you just gotta replace that's all it was on this particular model if there is anything else you need to know comment us below we'll try helping you as much as we can and there is a playlist for mercedes do check it out we do other stuff like parking brakes headlight bulbs brake lights stop lamp and everything position lamps do check them out and if you found this video useful don't forget to like share subscribe and also there's a special thanks button don't forget to click on that thanks and goodbye